Assalamu alaikum students and welcome to lecture number 4 of our uh, course Advanced Nanomagnetism. In this uh, lecture we will talk about the Neil Brown relaxation of the magnetic nanoparticles, how it is uh, uh, different, how they are different and how we can understand it. Neil Brown relaxation Actually, the relaxation process of the block single domain nanoparticles was proposed and studied by Neil and was further developed by Brown. Neil relaxation theory is the theory developed by Neil in 1949 to explain the time dependent magnetic phenomena known as the magnetic viscosity. And, uh, and we have also Neil Arrhenius theory, which is based on Arrhenius equation. Actually, uh, when we uh, reduce the size of the nanoparticles, as we have seen in the last lecture, uh, the magnetic movement, the uh, core magnetic, huge core magnetic movement, cannot uh, stay in one direction. And we, when we, uh, when we uh, switch off the magnetic field, it relaxes uh, in its anisotropy direction. And this relaxation is very important for practical applications such as data storage and also in ferro fluids and in some other uh, practical applications. So study of uh, magnetic relaxation is very important for these fine nanoparticles. So uh, when we reduce the size of the nanoparticle, there, uh, there is a limit comes when uh, the nanoparticles behave like behaves like a paramagnetic uh, paramagnetic atom. However, uh, we are still in in the ferromagnetic regime. We still have exchange interaction between the between the spins within the core, and uh, but uh, this uh, huge core spin cannot. Uh, be blocked in some certain direction and the super paramagnetism effect occurs and super paramagnetic is due to the fact that um, uh, the uh, spin is huge as compared to the paramagnetic at atomic spin the so super paramagnetism occurs in ferromagnetic and ferromagnetic nanoparticles which are single domain composed of single domain uh, magnetic domain. This is possible when the diameter is below normally 50 nanometer, depending upon the material. Uh, in, its, in this condition, it is considered that the magnetization of the nanoparticle is a single giant magnetic movement, as I told you, huge ma uh, core magnetic movement, which is a sum of individual magnetic movements in the core of the nanoparticle. This is what uh, people are working on the subfield of supermicral, the macro spin approximation. So you can see uh, is the energy barrier to oppose the nanoparticle spin flip, and uh, if uh, the nanoparticle has sufficient energy, thermal energy, it can cross the this energy barrier uh, with the double arrow it is shown. It can uh, surmount this barrier and uh, change its direction uh, very quickly, and we are in the uh, super paramagnetism uh, regime. So there are uh, two possible rotation mechanisms in nanoparticles are possible. Neil rotation governs the restructuring of the electronic spin states to allow the magnetic moments to reorient irrespective of the orientation of the whole particle. Which means that in the Neil rotation, the particle itself physically not moving but it's only the atomic spins, uh, the huge core, uh, core spin is moving towards the relaxation, towards the anastropy axis. While in the Brownian, uh, Brownian rotation, it occurs when the particle itself rotates, means physically it rotates, carrying with uh, it the magnetic movement fixed in a uh, direction relative to the particle crystal axis. In this, the particle itself moves and the, and the mag, uh, magnetic movement rotates with the rotation of the particle. So here is the example in the uh, brown relaxation, brown rotation, the particle moving itself with time and uh, in the needle ro rotation the particle is not moving, only magnetic movement is rotating. 
so we have uh, normally we have uh, uh, both facts in uh, in, uh, in nanoparticle system but if you can fix the nanoparticles by some uh, means uh, uh, within the uh, within the <coughs> uh, magnetometer uh, then we have only needle relaxation the dominant needle relaxation so needle relaxation uh, needle process is determined the magnetic anastropy energy of the mm, nanoparticle and the anastropy energy is related as we already discussed a lot about anastropy in our face-to-face uh, -face lecture it depends upon the LS coupling and it's uh, uh, different for different uh, materials so uh, there is a competition between the anastropy energy and the uh, thermal energy so it is element in fixed super paramagnetic particles where no physical rotation of the particle is possible so um, uh, magnetic movement is rotating uh, in, in this knee relaxation so direction of magnetization rotates in the core so this is the basics of the knee relaxation and uh, while in the Brownian relaxation which is normally observed uh, when we have a suspension of nanoparticles within some liquid or we are doing some experiment in which the particles are suspended in some liquid then the Brownian relaxation is also very dominant now with decreasing particle size the energy barrier for the magnetic universals decreases too and consequently thermal fluctuation lead to relaxation phenomena as a total uh, this uh, mechanism is characterized by the rotational Brownian motion of the nanoparticle itself. In this case, the energy barrier is determined by the rotational friction within the medium, such as the liquid. So, uh, it depends upon the uh, energy barrier, but uh, which is determined the rotational friction within the medium. In, in Brownian relaxation, the entire particle uh, rotates in the fluid and with this uh, physical rotation the uh, uh, magnetic huge magnetic movement also changes its uh, <coughs> direction so here <coughs> now we have presented the equations for needle and brown relaxation uh, tn uh, it represents the needle uh, relaxation time uh, in which the tau naught is the atomic spin flip time exponential kv over kvt where k is the anastropy energy of the system v is the volume of the particle k is the Boltzmann constant and it is the temperature tv uh, tau b uh, is for the Brownian relaxation time eta is the uh, I think it's uh, some parameter vh is the uh, some also parameter which you, you can see in the literature and uh, if we have uh, both uh, relaxation combined together then we have a uh, combined relaxation so here we can see yeah v is the volume of the particle it is the viscosity in vh is the hydron hydro hydronomic volume of the particle so tau naught is the atomic spin flame time which lies between 10 to the power minus 9 to minus 12 seconds. So for the knee relaxation time, k is very important, which uh, is depends upon the material itself. So uh, thank you, students. Uh, in this lecture, uh, we have learned about the basic rotational or relaxation phenomena within the nanoparticles which will be helpful uh, in the future lectures to understand the relaxation phenomena in these uh, nanoparticles and I hope uh, you are uh, following my lectures and uh, you should not miss these lectures and you should read uh, for uh, the coming lectures so enough this